Students from schools island-wide will get an opportunity to learn about the life of St. Lucian Botham Jean. The Botham Jean Foundation is screening a two-hour documentary by Discovery Channel entitled The Ballad of Botham. The film provides a chronology of the life and death of Botham Jean, as well as the trial of a former police officer, Amber Geiger, who was convicted of his killing. Chief Education Officer Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer says, a corporate citizen who believes that the film should be viewed by students in St. Lucia has made the provisions. We are honored that the foundation and the director of the foundation, that being Mrs. Alison Jean, has invited our students. And more so, a corporate citizen has found it necessary to speak to the importance of ensuring that his legacy remains significant in the minds and hearts of our children. And so this Friday, our Form 5s and Form 4s are invited alongside their teachers, and we've targeted every single secondary school, including our private ones, so that the students get an opportunity to view that documentary, free of cost, a slight snack will be provided for them, and in addition to that, the corporate citizen has agreed to pay transportation for every single school on island. And so as a Department of Education, we are very, very pleased to support this program and to ensure that our students do not forget who Botham Jean was, the impact that his life has had. And as the International Committee celebrates him, so much that the U.S. has named an avenue after him that we as St. Lucians recognize his legacy, and St. Lucia as a whole, but more so we give honor to him as an individual and we support his family likewise. Dr. Meyer, who has watched The Ballad of Botham, says the documentary film is impactful. It is really about the pain and suffering that was caused, but more so the resilience of the family and the overwhelming love that we saw of Mr. Jean for his family, for his nation, St. Lucia. And so it is for us to rally round our own. You know, very often we look at it from a distance, but it is to say, how best can we as St. Lucians appreciate that something has happened, which we would pray never happens to any other family. But out of this, what can we gain from it? What lessons are to be learned? What knowledge and what kind of attitude do we want our young people to have in terms of being resilient, even in the face of such, uh, you know, a horrendous act and tragedy? but coming out of it and saying, how can we be better individuals, better humans?